Tupac is 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 the biggest thing ever. You know, uh, he running around with Suge and and Snoop, and they they moving, and you basically the security of. How hard was that trying to keep up with everything? I know y'all had other people, but that had to be a job. Oh, it was, it was, it was a job. And now looking back on it, I wasn't up to the task. Uh, I don't think anybody would have been because we would allow things to happen. I don't think I did anything wrong. I just think, unfortunately, things like that had to happen for us to learn from. Yeah. That's what happens. To- yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. I, because it's funny, I, I interview another guy and he says that you guys took over the security and two months later, Tupac was dead. I think it's just talking. We were there 11 months. We took over the security. I took over the security during... Uh, the murder was a case album. Okay, I did all yeah, of that. that was, we that went to New York. On. I'm the one that was over the security for setting up the New York cops and all that for us to go and um, do that that screening of a uh, woman to woman and uh, or the murder was the case. Um, so you was around. video and stuff. I've been around since '94. Was it this case where we were no, I was still working as a cop though? Where we were interviewing somebody and they said if it was the nation of. The Muslims yes. protecting him. Yeah. That would not happen. Correct. Where? With Tupac? Yeah. So what that the nation of Israel is not going to do? They're going to get in the car. They're going to be like, nigga, you're Michael Jackson. Set your ass. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I get it. <laughs> Set your little Tupac ass. <laughs> <laughs> in the middle and I'm going to sit right here you're going to sit right here and he's going to sit right here the nation of Islam guys going to tell Tupac that they're going to tell him where to sit at they're going to tell him no you're not getting in the car with they you they're probably going to say they're going to take extra precautions and that wouldn't they wouldn't have known exactly where the car was where he was going to be and all of that okay uh, security perfect anybody can money back quarterback <laughs> anybody can say that if I could have would have should have but that happened to Tupac, in my opinion, so we can learn from it. Mm-hmm. That's why you got Beyonce riding around in a in a Hummer or not a Hummer, in a, a bulletproof, uh, bulletproof mm-hmm. uh, van and stuff like mm-hmm. that. That's why people do stuff like that. We're supposed to learn from that, you know. Now you may have a security car in the front, on the side, on the side, and then behind. But y'all look at Tupac as as, as he was in twenty twenty three. But you talking Tupac about was a learning dude from in nineteen ninety five, ninety six. Did but y'all look, see LL Cool J? Did y'all see Lauren Hill and all of them was just as big as Tupac was mm-hmm. walking around with security and stuff like that then? Did y'all? But no. Because that happened to Pac. But he wasn't make it. having beef. But Lauren Hill wasn't having no beef with nobody. Okay, Biggie then. <laughs> when they ride around like that, they were in L.A. After that had happened. Mm-hmm. They just had a car right there and a car right there. But you talking Biggie about we supposed front. to you talking about we supposed to learn from that, but when you look at the presidents, presidents been riding like that with detail covering them and all of and that. So like since I've been born, two of them got shot since I've been born. And how many presidents we've had? Thirty five. How many okay. orders have we had? And how many orders have died? A lot. So I guess we're not learning enough. Well Yeah. But my point to all of that is if you're going to get guys, if you want to get guys, somebody wants to kick in the door right now and kill Boss Talk Reggie in Jamaica, it ain't really much we can do if that's the plan. I'd be like, oh, y'all should have had security sitting outside while y'all was interviewing that nigga. <laughs> okay. How many times have y'all did that? No, nah, that's real. But that's what people will say. Somebody will say, mm-hmm. y'all knew y'all was going to that, that crooked cop or that whatever dude. Y'all should have had somebody standing outside posted up. Now, y'all might do. I don't know. <laughs> but, you never know. We might but, have somebody right here, man. man. I said, y'all might. But that's what people will say. And it's easy to say that mm-hmm. after it happens. They're yeah. hiding behind the tree out there, though, by the way. Okay. Right. Well, <laughs> go take them some water. <laughs> let, let me, let, let's they get, bored let, as a mother. They me, might be asleep. Let me get to it. So, Tupac is um, this guy that comes out. He's been shot five times. He's now on death row. He's He's... Already leery of uh, of uh, the New York uh, East Coast thing, uh, you guys know what you're getting when you're getting Tupac yeah. out of there. Y'all already know that. Have you ever heard interviews? Because I know where you're going. When well, he was ditching security, yeah, <laughs> driving, making them, yeah, uh, running red lights. 
Have you heard that? Yes. All right. Go ahead, continue with your question. <laughs> so, so he comes out. He's 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 doing his antics, and he's basically being Tupac. He's mm-hmm. he's a star. He's a celebrity. Him and him and him and uh, Dr. Dre. You know, they do California love. Uh, I guess uh, Suge is in the background saying, "This is what we gonna do. This is how it's gonna happen." I mean, how did you feel about it? Did you feel like we on top of the world, or you didn't care? I'm 27, 28 years old too. I'm laughing. It's like Snoop who was trying to say, I don't know, I wasn't down with that beef and I wasn't there. But then what was he doing at the House of Blues on the side of the stage? When he talking about having sex with his wife and all that stuff. You know, when Tupac was saying, Well, he did the faith and, and this and all of that. What was he doing? He was on the side of the stage laughing, cracking up. My point to that is 53 year old, 50 year old men, we look at things Mature. different than what we were. Or how we looked at things. I don't know if it was because of the 90s or because of our age. Wow. It's unfortunate how we money back quarterback, what we would do now. It's a lot of things I would do different. I wouldn't have sell, send marijuana and packages across state line wow. if I knew what was going to happen to me. But now I knew the chance, I knew that it was illegal. But I didn't think they cared enough yeah. or whatever. Yeah. But in 2023, I don't even want to see a marijuana joint, to be honest. <laughs> After what they done took from me. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, Tupac is, is, is the biggest thing ever. You know, uh, he running around with Suge and, and Snoop and they, they moving and you basically the security of how hard was that trying to keep up with everything? I know y'all had other people, but that had to be a job. Oh, it was, it was, it was a job. And now looking back on it, I wasn't up to the task. Uh, I don't think anybody would have been because we would allow things to happen. I don't think I did anything wrong. I just think... Unfortunately, things like that had to happen for us to learn from. Yeah. That's what happens to us. Things happen. That's why I believe God do things for us. So we're supposed to learn from it. He still give us free will and all of that. But he said, okay, this happened. Did, Maybe did, next time you should do this. Warren G. Um, Kobe Bryant. Well, I bet you he wouldn't get it. If he would have lived through that, he wouldn't have got in another helicopter in, in his, his life. life. You learn from it now, and I bet people think about it. No, it's kind of cold, and this Cloudy. wind is blowing. I'm not getting in that helicopter. Yeah, but you talking? Oh, go ahead, Aaliyah. Wow, that's me. No, this might plane might be a little bit heavy. Yeah, we're not putting all this stuff on there. I just you know, I, even without when they said they was I was was going to be extra heavy. I'm thinking. We know we're in a bigger plane. I'm like, man, I hope they ain't letting everybody put big packages on here because we know now, hindsight. You think, that, you think about it. I thought about God it. God, give us these examples for us to allegedly or to hopefully learn, learn from. from. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do you think that? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.